Hey everyone, it's Major Reaction. Here's a look at one of my latest Acid Rain setups. Cut them fighting off the zombie Viper June. Showing you a little behind the scenes. None of this stuff would have been in the shot. I'm just taking it from certain angles and stuff. I went ahead and threw on uh, my new Argus guy up here on the top. Then threw Jack. Jack here. Oh. I'm not gonna shoot this as a picture or anything, just wanna shell them off, throw them in there really quick. Just wanna show you guys a real quick look at this setup before I take it down. Cutouts going a little awkward on here. Should be standing straight up, but they're about to all shoot that right now, so just wanna make sure you guys a real quick. Hey everyone, this is Major Reaction coming at you with my latest episode of 3TO, that's Toy Talk Timeout. Uh, today we'll be looking at a couple of things I picked up. First we're going to go ahead and start off with a pickup from Chad Harris. Got the Jubilee Build-A-Figure right over there next to Bosk. Uh, got her for um, a Luke Cage from the SDCC Thunderbolts 5-pack. So we traded that straight up, so I think I got a really good deal for that, and uh, he was really happy with uh, the Luke Cage, so I think we both won out on that particular trade. Uh, the other thing I want to take a look at is my classic Storm back there in the white suit. Just recently picked her up off eBay for not too bad of a price. Then I got this Bosk right here at Fantastic Collectibles. Got the... Luke Skywalker from Steve McCabe. I got the uh, new Jack from Buck's team. And Argus, also from Buck's team. And Steel from Buck's team. So I picked these all up from Big Bad Toy Store. So there's Jack slashing down this new Techno Viper that I also got from Fantastic Collectibles. And I got this Techno Viper back here. Choking out ball and then steals back there and Argus is up here no that's not the sniper rifle that came with him but that's one I just put with him S sniper rifle he came, comes with is really really big uh, also got these uh, explosion effects from Amazon I got the gray version and the red version so here's a look at the red version all lit up and here's the gray version here's it with a little less light on it so here's the sniper rifle for Argus, really big. Um, those Techno Vipers came with some really cool little accessories and stuff, those little backpacks, little tools, um, their little vest that you can take off, so that's really cool. Um, also, uh, on Free Comic Book Day, I picked up the first couple issues of DC's Convergence and went back and picked up uh, issue four and five to keep up with the current run. It's a pretty cool comic. Uh, all the DC universes are kind of colliding and um, battling it out to see who will survive, so it's pretty cool. Um, I'm waiting to get my Acid Rain um, speeder in, and then a few uh, more members of my X-Men team. And uh, hopefully those will be coming in later on this week. Okay, so that's a look at some of my pickups, and we'll go ahead and look at um, my current collection, the way I've displayed it on some of the new shelves I got in.
so I'm setting up a little scene right now. I uh, busted out my uh, explosion effects. We'll go ahead and put a little more light on them. Take a little light off of me. Give you guys a little more look at the detail. See how detailed they are? Look really cool. Oh, nice. So the LED lights really help set them up. Gives a really cool look. I think those look pretty dope. Like that, make it look a little bigger. Make it look like it's spread out a little more. Do that. Like a big explosion. Move it a little more like that. There you go. That looks cool. Have this guy running through. Have my new steel figure. My new acid rain steel figure running through there. Got to get his pose nice and balanced. Gonna try to get him posed on one foot. There we go. Got the pose. Now I just gotta get a weapon. Oh, any follower. Just gotta get the weapon. Here's the pose I'm gonna go with. A one-footed pose. If I place him just right, it should work out fine. He has a little hole. In his boot, I just need to find a little spot that sticks out a little more than most, like that. And just balance him like that. Boom. Give you a little zoom in. That's what we're working with right now. I'm trying to get a weapon out for him. The little bag is being a little bitch, though. Alright. So, yeah, uh, today um, is Saturday, May 2nd. The uh, Pacquiao Mayweather fight just ended a few hours ago. I didn't watch it, but I did have a, I did place a bet for 50 bucks, and uh, looks like I won that bet. So it's gonna be a good day tomorrow when I go get that money. <laughs> but uh, right now, just kicking back, uh, setting up a little acid rain display really quick with this new figure. I really like him. Really cool figure. This is a uh, steel. For those of you who haven't seen him yet, it's a really cool figure. I'm gonna try to figure out what's up with this rocket launcher of his. Comes with this cool rocket launcher piece. All right, so here's a little scene I'm working on. Uh, Simple little setup, I'm just having a hard time getting it right. Mainly because of the size of the screen I'm working with for the backdrop. It's just a 10 inch tablet, so it's really hard to get it into perspective, really hard to get it into the shot and the framing right. Uh, right now, the biggest problem I'm having is trying to get this um, steel figure lit up. Something about it is coming off all wrong, so. I give you guys the zoomed in view of what it should look like when I get it all nice and framed in. Okay, so it should be someone like that, but for some reason it doesn't want to focus on steel, it wants to just keep focusing on the background. So that seems to be the problem I'm having. So here's my first setup using Steve McCombs diorama that he sent to me. Using some acid rain figures. Just kind of turn the door around so it doesn't really have any detail on it because it's made more for like six inch figures. I'll go ahead and shine a little more light on it for you guys. I got uh, my Eggert's infantry right here, Bob right here, and then my steel in the back. Just cool cut out. I like that. Make it cool, like, uh, trying to show the story of Bob and the team getting together. 
So they're still like they had to put them on this G.I. Joe base to get them in a nice pose with all the gear that he got on him right now. So just took a picture from an angle to hide that. A couple different angles. He used the minigun to kind of hide it and stuff. Uh, this guy was really cool. Gonna find a bunch of different uses for it, I bet. So gonna light up here. Get this light right here being diffused so it's not too hot on our faces. And then have this one right here just kind of propped up. So what I do is just switch off these two. And kind of use the darkness. Let's see, because when I took this off, it's just a little too bright, too hot. So when I put it on, it kind of gives a nice dimming effect. I like to get this one up a little higher. That would be nice. Let me just set it right here. That's a nice looking light right there. I'm going to try taking a picture like that and see how it comes out. Alright, so here's the scene I have set up. I went ahead and moved the ghillie soldier over here. It looks like he's wanted to look like he's climbing up the ladder, but he kind of fell off where I have him. That's a little better. Have Jack jumping on top of the monster, stabbing it. Steals fire missile at it. It's causing this explosion, knocking out Buck and Bob, knocking Bob out. Got him with his mask on. We're in a highly toxic area. Ran into this crazy monster, trying to kill it. Make some armor out of its spikes and leathery skin. Gotta salvage everything you can in the acid rain world. So we finally got some of the foam board that I've been waiting for, and I finally got a nice sharp new uh, utility knife. So we're going to go ahead and start doing some diorama work. First I'm going to go ahead and show you guys um, how you want to go ahead and put your concept onto the board first before you start out. So first off, uh, I got a nice little line right here. It was actually in the board already, so I'm going to use that as a, uh, use this part of the um, diorama. It's about a little less than nine inches. I think I'm gonna use that as a base, as like a ground. And then I'll use the rest of the board, which is a good, about 14 to 15 inches left. So I'll use that for the different walls. I'll probably split it right here down in half or I'll make three different sections of walls because I'm probably going to stick with the um, 3.75 inch figures so that way I'll use a lot less foam to make a building size I want to go with. So I'll be using an acid rain figure and a uh, GI Joe for scale to make sure everything stays at scale. I'll go ahead and show you guys once I've gotten the board all drawn on I'm going to use a pencil and a ruler to make some nice lines and basically graph out what I want to do with this and I'll check back with you guys as soon as I got that done okay so I laid down the line work for my diorama floor I used a ruler and a new um, utility knife to go ahead and cut it nice and uh, sharp and deep 
I cut my foam into two separate pieces like I showed you guys. And then next process will be to black base it. <clears throat> Get it nice and deep with the black wash and then go over it with my the various coats that I'm going to do and dry brush real nice. Maybe use my airbrush on it to get some nice colors out on the different tiles and stuff. We'll see where we go from there. Okay, so here's what the completed well, uh, this is what this the progress I've made so far. This is the brick wall, destroyed brick wall portion. Probably be flipped around like this. So this is before I painted it. So that's the brick wall. Here's the little pieces that I can just kind of throw around as little scrap pieces. And then here's what my floor looks like. Got some destruction going on in there. I think this is going to turn out really cool, so I'm really happy with where I am right now with this. I've taken my time, and I think it looks a lot better. I mean, some of the lines are still kind of crooked on my brick wall, but um, I think it looks a lot better than my last uh, diorama that I made. So, we'll see when uh, I do some further paint progress and show you guys how that looks.